Ever imagine a warship so tough, it practically shrugs off enemy attacks? We're diving deep into unsinkable aircraft carriers, yeah. a topic I know you find fascinating. Okay. So, imagine this. A futuristic aircraft carrier packed with tech that makes it almost invincible. Sounds like a movie, right? But this is real-world engineering. We'll break down how these carriers are changing naval warfare, the tech, the impact on global power. Right. It's a big deal. But let's set the stage first. We know aircraft carriers are powerful, right? They're like floating fortresses, projecting military might around the world. Exactly. Vital for a global force projection, especially for a nation like the United States with interests all over the map. But here's the thing. As strong as they are, they have a weakness. They're huge EE targets, especially now with advanced weapons tech. Yeah, their size makes them inherently vulnerable. It's tough to hide something that big. It's like trying to camouflage a skyscraper in the middle of the desert. <laughs> and the threats are getting scarier. Our sources say hypersonic missiles are a huge concern. Right, they travel at over 3,800 miles per hour. That's five times the speed of sound. Mach 5, to be precise. Existing defense systems just can't keep up. Wow, five times the speed of sound. So speed is a problem, but it's not just that, right? We also have to worry about submarines. Our sources point to the Yasin class and Type 093 submarines as particularly troublesome for carriers. Those submarines are stealthy and deadly, armed with advanced torpedoes. They can appear out of nowhere, attack, and vanish before anyone realizes what happened. It's like an underwater nightmare. Mm -hmm. But it's not just direct attacks we have to worry about, right? What about cyber attacks? Absolutely. Those are what we call asymmetric threats. They exploit vulnerabilities in unexpected ways. Kind of like those spy movies where hackers shut down entire systems, right? Exactly. Or imagine a swarm of drones overwhelming defenses. It's David versus Goliath using ingenuity and surprise to beat brute force. Okay, so we've got hypersonic missiles, stealthy subs, cyber attacks, drones. It's like everyone's out to get these powerful but vulnerable ships. So how do you even make an aircraft carrier unsinkable? Well, unsinkable might be a bit of an exaggeration, but the goal is to make them incredibly resilient and well defended. I get it, more like nearly invincible than truly unsinkable. So how do engineers do it? Is there some kind of magical force field? <laughs> Not quite a force field, but close. It's about advanced materials, innovative design, and a lot of ingenuity. It's a total reimagining of what an aircraft carrier can be. Okay, now you've got me hooked. Let's talk specifics. What are the key innovations that make these carriers so different from the old ones? Let's start with the materials. They're using advanced composites lighter and stronger than traditional steel. So tougher than before. But it's more than just being tough. Think about a car's crumple zone. It's designed to absorb impact and protect the passengers. These carriers use similar principles. So instead of the whole shift going down from one hit, the damage is contained. That makes sense. What else? Modular design is another big one. Instead of one big structure, these carriers are more like Legos, individual sections that can be isolated in case of damage. Ah, so if one part gets hit, the whole ship doesn't go down. That's clever. But what about stealth? How do you hide something as massive as an aircraft carrier? It's about being quiet, mainly. They're switching from those loud diesel engines to electric propulsion. Wait, hold on. You're saying they can make a ship this big practically invisible to a submarine. How is that even possible? It's about stealth, and a big part of that is ditching those noisy diesel engines for electric propulsion. So quieter engines make them harder to detect. Exactly. It's like trying to hear a whisper in a rock concert, much harder to pick out against all the background noise. Okay, that makes sense. Tougher to sink, harder to find. Mm -hmm. But what about actually fighting back? How do they handle those hypersonic missiles and torpedoes? Now this is where it gets really cool. We're talking about next-gen radar that can spot even the stealthiest threats, paired with advanced weapons designed to intercept anything that gets too close. So, like a high-tech, automated shield. How does it work? It's a multi-layered system. The outer layer is all about early detection and long-range interception, using advanced radar and powerful missiles to neutralize threats as far away as possible. Okay, so take out as many threats as possible before they even get close. What if something gets through that outer layer? That's where the inner layer comes in, focusing on close-in defense. Imagine a system like CIWS or close-in weapon systems. CIWS. 
Basically, automated machine guns firing thousands of rounds per minute to intercept incoming missiles, or even those drone swarms we discussed earlier. Oh right, like a last line of defense, a wall of bullets to take out anything that gets too close. You got it. And it's not just about firepower, they're also designing these carriers with electronic warfare systems to jam enemy sensors and disrupt attacks. Wow, so it's a combination of resilience, stealth, and overwhelming firepower. These unsinkable carriers sound like they'd be a game changer in a naval showdown. But let's shift gears a bit. You mentioned earlier that these advances could have major geopolitical implications. What did you mean by that? Well, think about it. A nation with the ability to project power globally, virtually unchallenged at sea. That kind of capability can reshape alliances, embolden certain actors, potentially even deter conflict. So it's not just about winning battles, it's about influencing the global landscape. Hmm. Can you give me some examples? How might this technology play out in the real world? Sure. Consider the South China Sea, an area I know you're interested in. Right, a lot of tension and posturing there. Exactly. Now imagine an unsinkable carrier patrolling those waters. That would definitely send a message. Would it be enough to deter aggression, do you think? It's possible. That kind of formidable force might make potential aggressors reconsider escalating a conflict. However, okay. it could also embolden nations allied with the carrier's owner. Imagine smaller nations feeling more confident in challenging China, knowing they have a powerful ally nearby. Okay, so less conflict on the one hand, but a risk of emboldening certain players on the other. It's a tough situation to navigate. Are there other hot spots where this technology could be a game changer? Absolutely. Think about the Arctic, where melting ice is opening up new shipping routes and access to resources. The ability to project power there without the vulnerabilities of traditional carriers that could have huge implications for countries like Russia, Canada, the US. It's a whole new frontier, geographically and strategically. Yeah. This is all fascinating, but it also raises some concerns. What happens if this technology becomes widespread? Could we see a new kind of arms race, with every nation wanting the most unsinkable fleet? It's definitely a possibility. Whenever a new game-changing technology comes along, there's always that risk of an arms race. Yeah, everyone trying to one-up each other. So does that make the world more or less safe? That's the million dollar question, isn't it? It could go either way. I know, it's a tough one. It could lead to a stalemate, where starting a conflict is just too risky and costly. Right, mutually assured destruction, but with even higher stakes. Exactly. But it could also create a false sense of security, leading nations to take risks they wouldn't otherwise consider. So it's a double-edged sword. More oh. security, but maybe more risk-taking at the same time. Yeah. It's a lot to process. We've covered a lot in this deep dive from the weaknesses of traditional carriers to the mind-blowing tech behind these unsinkable ones and the global impact they could have. It really highlights how quickly warfare is evolving and how technology, strategy, and geopolitics are all intertwined. Absolutely, and what's really interesting is how it's not just about bigger guns and stronger armor anymore. We're talking about pushing the limits of materials, science, AI. It's changing how we even think about warfare. Exactly. We're witnessing a real paradigm shift in naval warfare, all thanks to these incredible innovations. It makes you wonder what's next. Right? Yeah. Are we going to see even more advanced stealth capabilities, autonomous drones operating from these carriers? It's exciting and a little bit daunting at the same time. It's a time of massive change, that's for sure. And with so much uncertainty, the best thing we can do is stay informed, have these conversations about the impact of technology, and try to shape a future where innovation benefits everyone. Well said. If there's one thing I hope you take away from this Dean Dive, it's that the future of naval warfare is anything but predictable. It's this constantly shifting landscape of cutting-edge technology, changing geopolitical realities, and the never-ending quest for dominance at sea. If you're as fascinated by this as we are, go explore. Research the technologies we talked about, look into the latest naval engineering advancements, or delve into the geopolitical hotspots where these carriers could play a major role. The more we understand these advancements, the better equipped we'll be to face the opportunities and challenges they bring. Until next time, keep exploring, keep asking questions, and keep your eyes on the horizon.